So this is three more minutes on economics, y'all. This is a word. One of the more recent lessons that I uh, that I um, took in economics had to do with, first of all, the, the choice that needs to be made within a society about what is to be produced, how it's going to be produced, and who it's going to be produced for. And there is a school of thought in at least the US that those decisions are made by the market. And it's kind of cool because you think, wow, it's like this really cool. The market is neutral. The market just does its thing, right? But the market is really made of, as we assume, it's made up of people, right? It's made up of people with attitudes and those attitudes can be shifted, right? And so I don't necessarily need to have the government come down and make a law that says, this is the way that we are going to operate within the economy. What we can have is uh, someone who might just happen to have a lot of social control or control over those apparatuses that create the ideologies or perpetuate the ideologies that a society operates by, we can have those mechanisms in place to, in some ways, drive economic forces, right? And of course, you know, the government right. does step in from time to time to influence the way an economy might run. But let's just take, for example, the example, uh, let's take, for example, the church. So if from the time that I am a child, I am uh, taught to believe in something, that can't be proved. So it is therefore an ideology, it is a belief system. I am taught to believe in this thing that can't be true, that, uh, that isn't true, but um, I, my behavior is modified in terms of that uh, belief. Right. And so, yeah, we had conversations where we said, well, the, you know, because of religion, sometimes people are nice. It doesn't necessarily mean that a person is stupid because they believe in religion or what have you. But um, as a practice of one's religion, one might go to church every Sunday. Right. This is a practice of one's uh, religion. They might even believe that if they don't go to church every Sunday, that they'll go to hell or something bad is going to happen. And so for the insurance. <laughs> of making sure one's soul isn't damned forever, one might go to church. And every time that person goes to church, there's an opportunity cost, right? There's something else that that person might be doing. They might be, you know, learning something, uh, learning how a trade. They might be spending time with their family. They might be growing food, right? There's something that that person is not doing uh, in order to go to church. And so there is an economic impact of something that is simply a belief, right? And so we might say that the market, you know, we don't, may not consider the church as a, par a driving force of the economy, but the church is very much a driving force of the economy. And how many other um, informal social control mechanisms are in place that might affect the way people spend their money? And if you look at the way people spend their money, how much money is spent on things that are absolutely worthless, right? How much time is spent on things that we do because we're, you know, we want to be happy. We, we do it because we're happy, but then the end result is not increased happiness, right? And so it's not necessarily in the best interest of the individual to partake of that particular activity, right? To become part of that particular activity. So anyway, this is way over three minutes. That's all. That's just some thought I wanted to throw out there. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share comment, subscribe. And this is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.